It's Mr. D in the middle with Mr. D1 at blogspot.com with some teaching tips for lesson four, day three of S Cube Level 2, the middle school sight singing program for beginners. So we're starting out again with a keyboard. They're going to do some treble clef and some bass clef letter name. Uh, letter naming, and then they're going to also do the soulfish naming, continuing to help them connect some dots in their little brains as they, over time, if they keep doing it, they're going to be more aware of the movable dough versus letter names being fixed. Um, next, we're going to have the rhythm exercise, um, and it includes eighth rest. It's a review, uh, remembering that if you have ta, ti, ta, ta, it's good to help them lip sync. Ta, ti, ta, like that and uh, that's what worked yesterday for my students they they got it really quickly um, so again I'm going to recommend that you go through soprano line in unison with everybody then alto with everybody then baritone with everybody so they practice and then you can do it in parts and they have fun with eighth rests they like the syncopations involved so uh, enjoy that and then um, after we're gonna go to the sight singing example now this sight singing example um, has some tricky pitches for each part uh, and their, their way to get through it is by recognizing and hearing the unison pitches uh, between bass and treble clef especially. So keep uh, bringing that up. Look for the middle C unisons and um, the last two measures have uh, quite a few unisons and, and help them to recognize. They work normally, they know what to do, but it's about using that tool uh, between the bass and the treble clef especially. That's where our focus is. All right, hope that helps you out. Have a great day.